inside your winter jacket. Oh, thank you. I like your your emerald shirt. <laughs> it's very beautiful. So. Oh, thank you. It's it's been like successful. I haven't worn it in a in a while, but I thought today I'm gonna wear it and. It's good. It's great with this uh, color scheme as yeah, well. Yeah, I was uh, thinking like I'm trying to try to see to see if it matches the whole thing, and it worked out. It does. It brings a little Wizard of Oz into the whole <laughs> situation, which we needed, I think. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> How are you, Ryan? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm much better after watching this film. I have to tell you. Oh, good. I absolutely loved it, and I'm not a big fan of musicals, mm -hmm. and this was just amazing but it's not just the music it's everything everything is just what what is it about musicals that you don't <laughs> normally like because this seems like a real movie musicals are like very over the top like mm -hmm. you know it's a musical this didn't feel like a musical it was like a story told with a few songs here and there and then dance but right, yeah. it doesn't feel like that it, it was okay. it was really amazing well anyways Good. mission accomplished Thank yeah you. yeah indeed <laughs> so your character um he doesn't. He doesn't want to compromise um, his his convictions. Do you think in this business, you at some point you need to compromise a little bit in order to move forward, or is not necessary? Um, I think compromise is um, is is uh, integral to the creative process, and it's 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 more about finding a way to uh, see those find a way to make those compromises into uh, um, um, you know opportunities and and not see them as obstacles mm -hmm. otherwise you can get really stuck yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, I think that's the only way to keep moving forward and being creative yeah that makes sense um, in, in the movie without revealing anything um, you have a great love relationship with uh, Emma's character, and then you have your dreams, and she has her dreams. Uh, how difficult is to, do you think that you, in life, you always have to, to, to put one a little bit with more weight than the other one, or you have to renounce the one in order to succeed in the other one? How do you juggle with those two things? Do you think it's actually, you can be successful at both, or this, again, there's like some compromise at some point that you need to, you need to do? I feel like there's an infinite amount of combinations of people and careers, and so it's it's the options are infinite. But obviously, uh, this is a um, a problem that uh, that uh, is not unique. It seems like it's resonating with the audience. You know that a lot of people feel like they're either one character or the other. So um, um, it's it's interesting. Uh, fertile ground to, to explore in a film. Mm -hmm. I have to say that uh, I, I love your, I fell in love with your character in the film. Oh. I, I, fi I find it amazing. I, I liked him better than I liked her. I think he's, I felt this way, I don't know whether it's true or not, but I felt, I felt he was more genuine. Mm -hmm. He was more in love with her than she was with him. Oh, that, that's that interesting. Was, I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong. No, but that's I, what I, I think I got. it's open for interpretation. Yeah, you know. I guess. Well, there's a sentence that um, you you say in the movie that it resonated with me. Um, that it says that this city worships. Um, they worship everything, but they value nothing. And you cannot of agree with that a little bit. Um, that's uh, I added that line because it's something my girlfriend said to me one day. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. She was kidding, but I thought it was such a funny. It's uh, awesome. It was such a great thing to say that I, I, I put it in the movie. <laughs> well, it makes, it actually makes a, a lot of sense. I don't know if it's 100% true. No, but it, she said it, she was kidding, but I, it's, such, it, it's still, it's the, uh, there's some truth in that, I think. Yeah. Um, among all the things that acting implies, um, what has been the toughest for you to, to deal with over the years? Um, uh, over the Among years. all the things that acting implies, like doing press junkets, like dealing with right. like paparazzi, or like having to deal with some producers, I don't know, like, or uh, what has been like the toughest thing for you to, like, you're like, oh, God, this is like something that. Um, no, I always feel uh, uh, weird complaining about any aspect of this job because although it does have its struggles, it's a really a wonderful job, and I feel very lucky to do it. And any job comes with its 
uh, you know, it's 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 hardships, I guess, you know. But um, um, every time I hear myself saying them, I, I hear myself thinking, yeah, you really shouldn't be uh, complaining about that. So, mm -hmm. but it's part of human nature. Like we love complaining. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, you know, not if those complaints are immortalized for eternity. <laughs> Better to just do it quietly uh, amongst your friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I um, I read recently that uh, the song "Don't Stop Me Now" by Queen is the uh, the happiest song in the last fifty years. Okay. They did a, sci a scientifically study, and okay. that's what they came up with. Oh. Um, so I was wondering if uh, what's your favorite song, the one that what you listen to when you're a little like down or whatever. Um. I don't know. It's always it always changes, you know. I've been listening to uh, "Take the A Train" a lot lately. It's a good. That that one's solid. It's there if you need it. You mm -hmm. can pick me up. Cool. <laughs> so, um, did you actually envision? When I mean, you have been in this business for many many years, but did you envision your career as it is, or you, has it turned out how you want it, or it changed a little bit? I guess uh, obviously I, I couldn't have predicted this, um, but I did hope to have uh, to be able to make films in many different genres and to have uh, um, you know to work with people that I was uh, you know a fan of or inspired by, and to be able to push myself in films into areas that I uh, I, I, I wasn't sure. Um, that I could go, and mm -hmm. uh, I, f I feel like I've, I've been very lucky to be able to do all those things. Would you say that acting um, has helped you learning more about yourself and make you a better person, or not necessarily? I think I wish everyone had the opportunity to act, because it's a great, uh, I mean, obviously it depends on what you're working on, uh, I don't know if it's as satisfying if it's a you know, um, you know, a toothbrush commercial. But if you can get into something where you have to project yourself or, or you have to uh, see things from someone else's perspective, I, I can't see how that's not helpful. You know, it's easy to get stuck in your own your own experience. Um, but movies are a great way of stepping outside of that and and experiencing things from someone else's perspective. And if you can even take the uh, but that's only two hours. If you can have the experience of, of uh, making a film or something where you get to do that for a few months, it's, um, I think it's very uh, educational. Mm -hmm. Have you had any character that it was like difficult to shake off after, after doing it? You know, I don't think I've, I, w I, I hear actors, uh, you know, have this experience where they become these people and they can't get themselves back. And I'm always I'm very impressed by that because it sounds like very existential and immersive. And you know, they must die. But I've never had that. I mean, it's it is a job exactly. at the end of the day. And yeah. I don't. I just uh, I can still uh, you know drive home and you know uh, and disconnect. And disconnect. And I think that's actually a good actor because if you're a good actor, you're like on and off at any point, and if you really have to be that person, it, I don't know, you're not that good, because you really have to experience that like 24 seven, like being no, in that I character. Don't know. I don't know if that's true. I think you're still, I think it's, I, and I it's, not enjoyable. it's not a good, bad thing. It's, it's just a different way of getting there. But you know, some actors are very immersive and they, they really become these people. And I just have never had that yeah. experience. It's way healthier your approach, I think. What's that? It's, it's way healthier, your approach, I think, for your mental well, health. Well, it, it's all that I got. That's, my, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. That's all opinion. I got. <laughs> well, I think we're done. Thank you. Thank